Well, Simon, you must be delighted with today's performance. Uh, uh, draw at home to Folkestone after three consecutive wins. Um, what's your take on today? I thought, I, I thought, just said to the boys, I thought today's result was as good as the result against Worthing and Lewis, to be honest. Um, I think to, when you come out of the Christmas period, you, you, you wonder whether we've got the legs to continue it. And I think coming and having Folkestone come to us today with a form team, four out of four they'd won previous to it, I thought we'd done fantastic. I thought um, we... we defended with our lives and I think it was it was one of them where I suppose Popey's chance if he takes it I think it's a 1-0 game then but I think 0-0 I'm really happy really happy with the guys and um, we spoke before the game and we were talking about winning's a habit and losing's a habit but there does, does definitely seems to be a positive habit and um, you know say the last four games three wins and a draw yeah um, your stamp on the on the side seems to be taking effect now yeah yeah no absolutely I think it's I think it's important that they understand that it's not about necessarily winning it's about not losing so if we can pick up points like we did today along with a win um, then it's just as good to be honest we've come out of the bottom three today which is great it's a great boost for them um, although mate it might be on goal difference it's a great boost and it gives us another kind of stepping stone into where we need to be there were some really good performances out there today. Um, unfortunately, it looks like we picked up a number of injuries. Can you tell us about any of those? Yeah, no, I mean, Gaz, Gaz was a precautionary. He's, he was getting a tight calf. And to be honest with you, we've got six more games in January and we need him. Uh, we play Bogner here next week and we need him fit. So it was more of a, I don't want his calf to go. I'd rather pull him off. We've got an Ablewood um, kind of substitute in Tolo to go back into there. So that was that. Um, Pope, bless him, has had tooth knocked out and, and one loose so he's now at the hospital um, having emergency treatment on that hopefully he'll be fine um, so it's, it's kind of one of those things this is this is the problem with a small squad if, uh, for important players to pick up things we can't afford that so we're having to try and really um, look after them and, and maybe give people other people in the squad t like time on the pitch as well to remedy that we spoke in the last interview that the fact that you, you want um, the Green Elephant Stadium to be a, a fortress, um, which you seem to be uh, mastering now. Um, I've got to take you back to um, Tuesday, uh, an away away day at Lewis. Uh, Lewis again, they've come up, they're flying. Um, what a performance! That's that's you know, oh, that's a, all we can say. What, what's your take on on Tuesday's game? It was it was an unbelievable. Obviously, for myself, on a personal reason, I, I played there, I managed there. Going back there, you want to do well. You want to put in a performance. You want to show that obviously we've come a long way. But the the manner of our performance was was class. It was a little bit of class and it was professional. I thought we I thought we we did everything right in our approach. We did our homework. We we do every week. We do our homework on teams and we try and find a way to to look at their their weak links and where we can hit them and I think we did that on, on Tuesday against Lewis so then there's things going out saying that they it's the worst they played and for me I don't think that's fair I think it I don't think we allowed them to play well because we were so on the ball all around the pitch and I thought it was a fantastic result and totally deserved we take a break now from from the league um, Pagham on Tuesday night um, obviously we took spoken already today about the injuries what's your mm. approach going to be to um, to Tuesday and, and uh, you're, sort of, you're clearly not going to give too much away but um, you know the players you've got to pick from what, what are your plans uh, we're going fully strength full strength I just said to the guys don't anyone think they're being rested we're, we're taking a full strength side I think what you have to look at in the other side of it is you don't want to change your winning team. We've picked up sort of like 10 points out of 12. I don't want to make wholesale changes because we're we're finding our feet now and we're defending well and we're attacking and we're picking up points. So we've got I want to take that to Pagham and I want to win that game and take us into the next round. It's, it's just as important as kind of today's today's game really for me. Well, after Tuesday, we move on to next Saturday, and uh, um, there will be games in this, this division. Mm. But again, another local derby. We've spoken, we've got a number this season. Yep. Bogner at home. Yep. A big game. Yeah, big game. Good side. Watch them as well, two or three times. Good side. Obviously, everyone remembers what happened at their place. Um, I don't think that'll happen here. Not, I don't think that's going to ever happen, sort of thing. But we're in a good place at the moment. We're in a good place as a squad, as a club, uh, the, I mean, the supporters and everything. And I think as long as we just keep that rolling, we'll be fine. And I'm, I think it's going to be difficult for Bolton to come here and get a result next week.